RC, get the other wizard tower. <gasps> There's no more splash. Bats? Bats? Is it enough bats to get the air defense? Oh, they're dying. Bro, rip. We are back, fishes and ladies, with the next matchup. Clash of Turkey taking on V in Tompy Night in the GCC tournament. We got a couple of zappy zappy spells for an air sweeper. It's going to be a hydra attack to kick things off in this match. Okay. E dragging the funnel at 730. King to go in toward the eagle artillery. Queen to follow suit. Dragons from the south side of the base. E dragon funnel. Switch to a battle blimp. Yes, we do. We pop an early war in ability or hold it a little bit longer. Impatient. Pop it right about now. But he let a couple dragons die. There we pop Warden Ability. King and Queen will take out the Eagle Artillery. Okay. Battle Blunt gets all the way to the Town Hall. Ooh, popped early. Invis. Clones. Super Minions. Rage. Invis. Down goes the Town Hall. Down goes the Multi. Down goes the Single. Down goes the Enemy Queen. Those Super Minions are getting some good value good value. They still haven't gotten that multi yet, actually, but now they will. Kidoki, Queen gets the Expo. Gonna wrap around the wall. Still got her ability. We still got a Royal Champion to use. It's gonna work. I'm gonna use Royal Champion on the right or the left. I'm thinking on the right, at this point, with the Warden Aura, is gonna be best value. Maybe even be patient. I'll have to drop her right now. Otherwise, the Warden will just stay back with the Dragons, and you want the Warden to go with the Royal Champion. We got one freeze. He's going to send her from the top side by herself. I don't know if that was the right play. Probably going to run into, like, two Skelly Traps here and get absolutely wrecked. There's one Skelly Trap. Got the freeze spell. He gets so distracted. Oh. We get through the Expo on the right. RC goes down. Lassie finishes off the Scatter. This still has a chance. Hold on. The dragons are low. Oh, the, the air defense though. Owl drops. Warden drops. Rip. It was so close, but it's going to fall short. Lassie dies, and it's an 88% to kick off the match. El Pano is in with an early battle blimp. Hello, Seeking Air Mines. It's just a little... Oh, it is a blizz. We get the scatter. We get the expo on the left. Get the wizard tower. Get the archer tower. And we get the other expo. Yes. That's a good invis. Oh, the royal champion runs inside the invisibility. That's a smart royal champion. She's going to stay alive. Four. Ooh, she barely stays alive. Archer up at 12 o'clock to pull the CC troops on over. We drop the queen. We got to go with the poison right away because of the headhunter, I guess. Okie dokie. We'll take care of the hound. We got a wall breaker at 11 o'clock, wall breaker at 10 o'clock. Sure. They're gonna try to get all the way to the town hall with the Sui. Gotta be careful with the queen pathing to make sure she gets it. You gonna step inside the wall gap? Yes, she does. We got skeleton spell, we got giant, we got ice golem, we got king. King gonna have to fight enemy king. Stepping up, she might take a lot of damage from that Warden Tower. Oh no, it's targeting the Giant, that's nice. RC on the left with the King, hello Tesla Farm. Feels a little questionable. Does Queen get the Town Hall? Does she go inside the wall break? I don't know yet. RC needs to clear the Expo on the left for the pathing to be set for her to go inside. Unicorn dies. Ooh, we use the invis early just to force Queen into the town hall. It was probably the right call. Queen switches targets to the Royal Champion, then finishes off the town hall. Nice. Go get the Builder Hub, but she's going to die to the Scattershot and the Expos. We haste. We freeze Scattershot. We got Lalo coming in with Warden from the 730 side of the base. Ooh, those balloons just barely dodging the tornado. We pop Warden ability. Down goes the Scatter. When we get to that multi, where are the traps? Where are the traps? There's the red bombs. The Warden ability was barely still intact. Nice. We freeze up the other multi. There's more red bombs, though. 
The balloons are low. They low low, but we get through the multi. We freeze the back end air defense. He's got so many balloons there. And no more splash defenses to kill his balloons. Beautifully done from El Tano. Now, does he have the time for cleanup? Only 25 seconds on the clock. And that CC building in the middle. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Might have celebrated a little too early. You get anybody pathing to that middle CC? Ooh, he gets some pups going. They get it in time. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rip the 99%. Oof. Clash of Turkey are in with their second attack. Coming in with some queen charge. Lalo, here we go. King on the south side with the Laugi launcher. Queen over on the right. Okay. Warden with the king. Royal champion as well. We use a headhunter here. Headhunter would be nice. Yes, headhunter's in. Queen gonna keep going to the right. The plan for the multi. Is there a plan for the multi? Multi there, sir. Oh, skelly traps for the queen. Pop warden ability. The yeti. Are the yeti mites gonna pick up this multi? Oh, that would be nice if they do. Really nice if they do. Yeti mites. Multi. Yeti mites. Woo! Yeti mites OP. We rage the queen. Gotta get through the scatter shot. Oh, the last yeti mite takes out the multi. That was clutch. Got a poison spell. Need it for the pups, my dude. He's got a jump spell to get Queen all the way to the Town Hall. There goes the poison spell. King, Yeti, Warden, still alive in the core. Okay. Looking decent. We rage the Queen, even though there's no damage there. Oh, dude, I'm sorry, but that's a waste of a rage. Owl goes down. We're just going to have to Lalo that left side of the base. Gotta get ready to freeze up the single. We rage the Queen again. Perfect freeze on the single. We'll take it out. Okay, that's looking good. We just need a juicy Lalo on the left. Waiting for... There we go. There we go. Well, don't use all the balloons. You need at least a couple to support the queen. No, he used every balloon at 9 o'clock. Early freeze. Early rage. Queen might die because of this, but we still got her ability, which is nice. There's the tornado trap. I think he's still looking good. He's still looking good. Hello, Red Bombs! Uh-oh, just as I said he was looking good. We pop Queen ability. Oh, yeah, he, see, he should have saved like three balloons to help snipe some of these Archer Towers. I think he still gets it, though. Oh, with the free spell, he should be fine. As long as he doesn't run out of time. 28, 27, 26. Oh, Queen, hurry up. Hurry up. Minions at 12 o'clock. It's either a time fail or a triple, and I think it's a triple. Queen will pick off the last few buildings. We're going to finish on the Archer Tower. Can freeze it up. Because why not? Down goes the Collector. Down goes the Archer Tower. It's a three-star for Clash of Turkey. And pressure on VN Tompi9 now. Machu is in with some Queen Charge Lalo of his own. We put the Queen on the right side of the base and hello Tesla Farm right away. Oh, are we losing a healer? Rip. Tesla gonna take out one healer. Yeti bomb to take out the Expo and the Scatter Shot. Are we gonna lose a second healer? Dude, rip the healer placement. Woo, that second healer is low, low. Uh oh. We ain't gonna have to fight the king. We wall break down south. Gotta be ready with the headhunter. Perfectly timed. Queen will get through him just fine. We do have a jump spell to help the queen. Archer at 6 o'clock. Okay. Queen doing okay for now, but that Warden Tower hits like a truck. We're going to end up having to use a spell somewhat soon. There goes a the Rage. He gets through the Cannon, gets through the Eagle, gets through the Warden Tower, then she can fight the Queen. we got King funneling on the south side of the base. He's going to set a nice funnel for the Queen. Now, where are we going to use this jump? What does he expect Queen to get? There's King ability. CC troops are coming out. King can end up dying soon. The CC will come over to Queen. 
What in tarnation? Okay, I see what he's doing. He wants Queen to get the multi and the scatter shot and ignore the town hall. And we're just gonna lolo through the town hall. That's the plan. But this hound timing could be really awkward if healers get in range. He rages her up. She'll take out the multi first, then focus on the hound. Okay, that's cash money. We got one more rage needed for the lalo over the town hall. Here we go. Queen gonna deal with the pups. Lalo's making its way in. We can start freezing up that town hall chamber. Aggressive rage. They be patient with the warden ability though. Patient, be patient. Not patient enough. Tornado trap is there. Oh gosh. Tornado. Giga juice. Moons are taking damage. Multi's doing a lot of damage as well. Queen probably just want to pop her ability so she could fight the enemy royal champion. Oh, I think it would have been worth popping the queen ability to pull the RC, but too little too late. We freeze. We send headhunters. Now we pop queen ability. Royal champion's in at 12 o'clock. He might still get this. Headhunters are taking out the RC. Better late than never. We're losing all the balloons, but RC and queen can finish off the rest of the base. We got 23 seconds for cleanup. Minions on the left take out the gold storage. We got a balloon to swag. RC ability. We use it for cleanup. That's a three star. For VN Tomp and I, and just like that, we are all tied up, and VN Tomp and I have the better percent. Flash of Turkey are in with the next attack. Let's see if they can get another three star and keep the pressure on VN Tomp and I. We're going in with more Hydra. Two clone spells on this one. We did have two lightning spells for a sweeper. We got the queen on the left side of the base. Battle Blimp going to that town hall. Is another Super Minion Blimp? It is. Okay, they like these Super Minion Blimps. Invis, Clone, Rage, another Invis. They'll get the Inferno Tower. They'll take out the Town Hall. Headhunter's going straight for the Queen. Bush. Okay. Might have to go to Ability soon. Town Hall drops. Dragons need to try and clear the core. There were Super Minions on defense. We're going to send RC to help support. The Queen dies through Ability because of a Giant Bomb. Big Ripperoni. Super Minions trying to take out the enemy Queen now. Ooh, that defensive Queen's killing everybody. King of Clash of Turkey might be in trouble here. RC going to have to go to ability. She's going to die to the enemy queen as well. Bro, that enemy queen killed everybody. Rip. That queen was OP. This is a defense for Rigo Torres. Dragon Riders, E-Drag, Warden. Still going to be able to get some more percentage points. Currently at 69%. Pog and climbing. Down goes the E-Drag. What do we get? 75-ish. Get the expo. 78. Lector, dragon dies, warden owls, all that's left. Air defense putting in work. The air defense, nice. Does the warden pick up the builder hut? No, he does not. 78% attack for king. Very nice try. What? Is in with some lightning spells. Idoki. Hey, this base looks familiar. We just attacked it in Legends League today. Queen over on the left. Sure. It's going to be a Sui Lalo after that zap. Queen will walk up. King to help funnel. We got a nice golem as well. He expected to get the town hall from the Sui. Not sure yet. He has a battle blimp. He could also send in for the town hall. We got a poison spell in early. We got a second poison spell as well. King ability. We're not using it just yet. Royal Champion's in at 12 o'clock. She might end up having to fight the King unless we pop King ability right now. Okay, King will fight King. Nice. We send a Headhunter to help support two of them, in fact. Might as well send off all four of them to fight the Royal Champion right away. Poison spell for the pups. Does Queen pick up the Town Hall? That's the question to ask here. Don't have any invisibility spells to help force her pathing, path so it's a little questionable. But if she goes up for the CC building, she might get the Town Hall. She does go up. Now, which way does she path next? She goes up for the storage. RC doesn't get the cannon, but the Yak finishes off the cannon just in time to send Queen to the Town Hall. That was perfect. Clutch. Yak. We're going to Lalo from the bottom side. Hello, Tesla Farm. We're going to try to get through the Ego Artillery. He switches from a Battle Blimp to a Stone Slammer. That's going to be able to help his Lalo tremendously. Gotta get through the eagle, all the expos, then the multi and the scatter shot are really the only threats. 
Holding the Warden ability, being so patient. There's red bombs. He's still not popping that Warden ability. There it goes. Stone Slammer from the top side. This should be wrecked, bro. He's got three freezes still. Start freezing up the scatter. Boom. This is so crushed. Oh my goodness. What an attack from Hawk. How about that? Can swag the last freeze. He's got more balloons alive now than what he even started with. Jeez. One, two, three, four. At least 69 and a half balloons. The base is absolutely deleted. And V and Tompy and I have the lead by a star now. Flash of Turkey are in with their next attack. Bringing us some more Hydra action. King. Ice Golem Queen on the left side. Okay. We pop that King ability. The whole Tesla farm there, so that king dies right away. Rip. Got a couple uh, lightning spells for a sweeper. Hydra's in from the south side. Bro, the king and queen got like no value. What the? Oh, that looks wonky. Queen will go inside. The ice golem doesn't freeze the scatter though. We pop war and ability. Does the battle blimp make it far enough? This one's not a super minion blimp, is it? Woo! What's in there? Sneakies? Sneakies? He get it. Woo! Okay, he got far enough, but it pulls the Lava Hound out of the CC, so that's awkward. We got Bat Spells. We got a Royal Champion still to use, but there's a Lava Hound out. Or freeze to scatter on the left. Bro, his King and Queen got like five buildings, and that's it. That's super awkward. We raise the Dragons and the Riders. The air defense on the right. Single target Inferno Towers are roasting us. We send Royal Champion on the left. They'll help take care of some of these pups now. How much value can these bats get? There's only two Wizard Towers left, and the RC is going to get one of them. Bro. Is this... Uh, hold on. Does this actually still work? With the King and Queen only getting, like, two buildings? Ooh, RC gets distracted, though. There's the last freeze. You better hope those bats go straight for the Wizard Tower and one-shot it. RC, get the other wizard tower. <gasps> There's no more splash. Bats? 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 No way. Oh! Is it enough bats to get the air defense? Oh, they're dying! Bro, rip. I thought he had it. Oh, he almost had that. Jeez. Rip the bats. Wizard on the left. Dragon over here on the BK. Ah, uh, he's not going to get it. Air defense, archer tower, stay up. Dragon's at half HP. Oh, there's two dragons there, but still, I think the air defense will kill them both when they get stuck on the storages. Nice try. He almost got it, even with the king and the queen not getting hardly anything. Poor guy. Another Seeking Air Mine kills that dragon instantly. The other dragon at full health, but the air defense will kill it. Down goes the dragon, and it's going to fall short here at 88%. Nice try. Amualine is in with more. Queen chargey chargey log. Oh, I want to mean log launcher. Lalo action. That's what I meant to say. Flamey boy Charmander working on the left side of the base. Sneaky Goblin on the top side. Sneaky Goblin on the right side. Queen is in at 10 o'clock. Do we want her to go in toward the multi-targeting Inferno Tower? Still have yet to deploy the healers. There they go on the top side. Got a shot. Gonna end up taking damage from the mortar unless we use something to distract. Don't know if he will. We raise the queen. DC troops are coming out. Look out for those headhunters. We go with the freeze first. Poison as well. Flame Flinger taking damage from the Mortar. But it's okay for now. Hopefully he can get all the way to the Scattershot. Where do we wall break for Queen? Straight into the multi. Wall break. Yas. Good wall break spot. Raise the Queen. Flame Flinger going for the Scatter. King on the top side to help funnel. More sneakies. Queen. Go champion with the King. He might get out in front, though. You probably have to pop King ability early. That's exactly what he does. We wall break Queen again. She'll have access to the middle multi and the eagle. And both sweepers. Ooh, this is looking juicy. 
We freeze on the top side. Headhunters are in. Down goes the enemy queen. Rage up the friendly queen again. Bro, this charge is looking juicy. He's gonna have to lolo through the town hall, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Got RC ability. Pop it. Do we invis her? Yas. Look at the expo. Here comes the lolo from the top. She's gonna go down. We gotta pop queen ability. She'll get through the wall. She'll be able to take out the single. Yo, we just gotta lolo through this big town hall compartment. The queen's looking good. She gets the single. We're working on the expo. One more freeze for the town hall. Uh, he should have froze first. Save the warden ability for a few more seconds. But I think he's he's fine. Oh, tornado. That's why. That's why you need to save the warden ability till right when the town hall is dying. Because those tornadoes are tricky. But queen gets through the wall. She'll finish off the rest of the base even if all the loons die. It's a three star all day long. Beautiful plan. Beautiful execution. Amualine easily wrecks this base. Clash of Turkey are in with their final attack of the match. Can they finish with a three star? They're going in with some super... Bowler smash. Warden walk on the right side of the base. Yeti and Flame Flinger to funnel the south side. Oh, that Yeti hits a spring trap. Rip that guy. I think we got a second Yeti. Warden gonna get the right air defense, and the funnel on that side will be set. We want the Flame Flinger to take out the other air defense, and then we're gonna smash right through the Eagle Artillery. Gotta be patient here, though. Skeleton spell that distracts the mortar as well. Here's the wall breaker. Defense drops. The funnel set. Go go go, homie. What you waiting for? Oh, he wants the storage too. Flame flinger gets targeted though. He doesn't wait for the storage to go down, so it ends up being like a waste of nine seconds. King, high skull, bowlers, queen, everybody making the way inside. We got a wall breaker, but he's saving that for swag points. We're gonna jump our way to the court. Bowlers be bouncing, healers be switching, king be jumping. Here we go, still holding on to that king ability and warden ability. We're gonna freeze the scatter shot with the expo alongside the right side. We rage, we pop king ability. Warden needs to step up. Can you keep the king alive? No, the king is dead. He goes six feet under. We pop warden ability, town hall will drop. Still got royal champion to use. Where are we gonna use her? Ooh. Queen's stuck on the hound. Bowlers are dying. Looking like a rip. Royal Champion's in on the south side. We rage up the one bowler with the Warden. Yo, what? Royal Champion with the freeze. Can she outlive the queen? We rage. Pop her ability. It's still too much to get through. Queen doesn't have her ability and we're out of spells. Rip the queen. Rip the queen. She gets the single, but she still dies to the expo. Royal Champion died as well. Healer's got no one to heal now. We're at 68% and climbing. Can we get at least one more building? Yes, we do. Hog. But we're going to get even more than that. Wizard on the left side to grab a couple percentage points. Baby Dragon on the top can get a little bit more as well. Going to be like a 76er. I believe it will be. Down goes the Wizard. 76% and the last archer dies. Nice try. Rigo Torres is in with the final attack of the match. See if he can get it done with a queen charge. Lalo with a jumping spell. Queen on the four o'clock side of the base. Royal champion in early. Okie dokie. We raise the queen. We send a headhunter. She's going to get through the king. Nice and early. RC working on that expo. Headhunter pulls two skelly traps and finds a bunch of Teslas. RC still has her ability. Goes south though, toward the eagle. Is that what we expected? Is that what we expect? Up oh, now. Do we bother using the invis on her or not? Or not? Oh, she pulls a NATO. Cool, we don't have to worry about that later. King to funnel. Queen to go inside the six o'clock compartment. She can't reach the air defense until she gets all the way inside that compartment, which is a little awkward. So we're gonna go with an aggressive rage to get Queen in there. Freeze as well, so we don't lose any healers. I think he already lost like two healers to Seeking Air Mines though, and I didn't even call it out earlier. He's only got like three healers left. There goes the jump to get her to the core. One more Coco Loon to make sure we're not gonna lose any more healers. King on the left, helping to set that funnel. He gets the expo, not quite. 
Here come the CC troops. Red bombs hitting the healers. We got the poison spell. Got to deal with the CC. One more Coco Loon on top of that, just to be extra, extra safe. Minion. Queen, you better go take the jump. Get the town hall on the multi. We go with the invis just to be extra safe. Okay, she goes inside the core. Now we got the Lala from the left side of base. Stone Slammer up on the top side. We send the Headhunters. We pop for an ability. Still sketchy though. Queen will go down, but I'm not convinced the Road Champion will go down. I wish he had a normal dragon in his Stone Slammer instead of a Dragon Rider. We freeze the scatter shot, trying to keep the Queen ability intact. A little bit longer. She's gonna have to pop it though. We're out of spells. That Royal Champion just never died. She's doing so much work on defense here. Just popping all the balloons. Queen gonna die to the scatter shot and the single target Inferno Tower. That's a defense. Rip Regal Torres on this attack. Not gonna be able to get it. The defense is gonna hold strong. Couple balloons on the back end, but it's not good enough. How much percent does he get? Like a 92? Storage, gets the RC pad. Yep, 92%. The single will kill the owl. Every nice try, but it's going to fall short. But it's still a victory for VN Tompinai in this matchup. Drops the last two archers. We have to watch them for eight seconds. See the scoreboard. Come on, come on. There we go. 13 to 11, 98.2% to 86%.